Okay, second part. As you can see, rinsed under a tap, more or less got all the paint off. There's a few little bits that the uh, soda didn't quite get to. For some reason, these little bits just will not come off. I've tried dipping them and dip, but for the amount of paint that's left on them, really, all you need to do is to scrape them off. That one is virtually clear as a bell. Yeah, yeah tiny bit on the end there. So what I tend to do is, as I was fortunate enough for many years to work in an ophthalmic theatre, I've got these handy little tools which went out of date. Um, they were sterile, they were used for in the eye, for removing cataracts, making little holes for the removal of cataracts and the insertion of implants. So I've managed to amass quite a few of these because when the boxes go out of date obviously you can't use them on patients. So they're very sharp, and they're quite a useful angle of blade on them as well. I don't know if, if the camera will actually focus on that, but they're very good, basically, especially these smaller ones, for getting these small bits of paint out of the... Uh, model. So what I'll do is just, if I can't just show you doesn't take a lot of effort literally there you go I mean it's all the, the solder's already done its job really it's just a case of just getting your blade in there and just getting rid of this excess paint in amongst all the little grooves and cracks in the model doesn't take a lot of effort at all. So, so what I think the solder's weakened it, so it's not really adhering, but it just gets stuck in these little details of the model. So that will just take a little bit of effort. I mean, literally, it's just it's so dry and crumbly. What I did was I rinsed it off to neutralise the caustic soda in a uh, bowl of soapy water, as you saw. And I rinsed it off again in a very cold tap, and I think the mixture of the hot soapy water and the cold tap has, has demolecularized the paint and it's just fallen off. So, again, you want a really good surface to paint it. So, as soon as I put the primer on, if I don't do this correctly, if I don't get rid of all the excess previous paint, it will actually show up under the primer. And uh, I mean, they're not going to look completely mint and brand new sometimes. You do get faults within the casting. Some modellers do actually use a form of filler, model filler. But really, I'm, I'm doing this. It's a hobby. It just makes an old toy displayable again and usable for it. I mean, if you've got children like I have. I mean, my son Alexander, I quite often do these for him. Just so that he can play them with the game, or he sticks them on his own shelf. I mean, I've got my own collection. I've got this thing about buses lately. Just on a route master. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. So what I'll do now is I'll give that a good rub down with a wire brush. Now the type of wire brush I use. It's a handy little set which I bought from a German discount store, which you probably know quite well. Begin with L. Is this brilliant set of various grinding stones, wire brushes, plastic brushes, I mean sanding block, 